Well, hello folks. Welcome along to this Tennis Manager 2023 save. I'm the Custard Profit and we're back here at the uh, Custard Tennis Academy following uh, Krusty Bun, um, who is absolutely dominating junior tennis. You can see behind me he's already up to fifth in the world, um, but you, you've seen him dominate in at the junior 100 level winning multiple tournaments the junior 300 level you've seen him do that well today we're here at the junior 500 uh, all the way through into a semi-final um, but the rather for rather surprising thing he has lost a match since we were last together so let's go have a look at all of that well you i believe saw this victory in uh Beaulieu sur Sumer in the, the final there against Pedro Rodriguez getting a junior 300 victory um, fourth in the world Pedro and beating Martin Landalusia in the semis very very impressive couple of wins there um, you can see here he did then um, get through into the semi-finals here in the Santo Croce I mean they're difficult ones to say um, played well um, then got to the quarterfinals against Israeli Gur Trachtenberg, who is ninth. Uh, beat him uh, in three sets. Uh, third set was pretty dominant, uh, but had a really tight uh, match against Federico Sinna and ended up losing it uh, in three sets. And he's 13th in the world, so a little bit disappointing there. But um, you know we can't we can't be too. Uh, terribly disappointed because it's, it's the third match he's lost all season and we are pretty much halfway through it so uh, it's it's pretty good so today let's have a look where we are so we are in Milan um, and let's let's be honest it's not been massively straightforward first couple of matches were got through those with relative ease against Yang Jun Kim in the first round, the second round against Tomas Bezekia, both of whom were ranked in the 80s. And then it got harder, played Yao Fonseca, 28th in the world, beat him 6-2. Uh, six, six, uh, and then we've just beaten, uh, in the quarterfinals, uh, Maxim Merva, who's 14th in the world, and uh, beat him 7-6, six, 6-3. Six, so played him and beaten him before. Um, so we will be playing Jan Klimas in the semi-final. Um, which I'd hope we have enough about ourselves to get through, but you just never know with this game. I mean, he's not lost a game in a long time, so it would be surprising if we didn't do it. And we will be playing, if we get through that, a, a third match for your eyes against Martin Landalusia. Remember, we've won one, we've lost one, and potentially we've got a final against him to win the highest level of tournament we've ever, ever won before. And... All this is going to do is push us higher and higher. I think uh, looking at the the junior rankings, we're junior. So for the junior final uh, tournament thing, we are third out of all of them, and we've played less tournaments as well, which is which is pretty impressive. And in terms of rankings, um, yeah, you can see where we sit. So just fifth, and not that far from Pedro Rodriguez. Uh, decent distance though from Landa Lucia and Began, who uh, is a little bit higher, but we are a year younger than all these other players. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff. Um, we are we're pushing those ahead of us to try and uh, pushing them aside to try and uh, try and get that top spot. That would be awesome if we can be junior number one. That would be a massive, massive thing. I think we are entirely capable of it. Let me know what you think. Right, let's play the first game, Krusty against Jan Klimas. So Krusty Bun has played Jan Klimas before, played him twice, beaten him twice. Not really had much issue in either of them. Two different types of surface as well. 626 love on clay, 6164 on a hard court. We are where are we? We're in Milan. I think we're on clay. But I might be wrong about that. Uh, so um, he's a power player. So well, I think we will do. I think we will go for the on the body play because it's working well. But I do think we just have to be a bit more thoughtful where we stand when we're playing. When we're playing power players, he's done well. Look at him there. He's he's played some good, good, good tennis um, to get all the way through here. 
beaten Trachtenberg, that player that we played fairly recently as well. I recognise him. Um, so um, he's got some quality, or he's come up against some quality not too distant. And we've actually both lost against the same player. I thought I recognised this guy. Cena beat us both. So, yeah, I think uh, we are desperately wanting to put that right. Let's get into it. So he's confident, he's he's concerned, um, so reassured. So I think we want to sort this motivation out. And I think there should be something about the fact we've already beaten. Stay focused on this opponent that you've already beaten, certainly. I think this is it. Yeah. As I said previously, if it's talking about having already beaten the player, that tends to do the motivation, unless it mentions confidence in that. As I said, video coming on that soon. I, I keep meaning to do that video and I haven't actually got round to it yet. Right, here we go. First one, this is the one I was expecting to do all right. Here. Wind 39 kilometers an hour. Okay, it's a bit bro breezy out there, so that might be a leveler. We'll see. Come on, Krusty. Well, 2 1, um, and we are 30 40 up. First chance for anyone here um, on. Uh, the opponent, sir, but not good enough to return there. Go on, Krusty. Better chance here. Another opportunity. Good length on that. Using the... Oh, dear me. That was a little bit of nothing. Used the sort of slice, but just didn't make the most of it. Right, another advantage. This is his third opportunity. Whew, that's a good second serve. And there we go, given it, and Krusty has got the break. And it's 5-2, Krusty leading, 15-40 up. Good chance here to take this first set. Double fault, 6-2 win. Very nice. So, Krusty, it's not been plain, plain sailing, but he has been not really challenged so far. It's an interesting one. Krusty Bill's opponent has an amazing backhand. I would recommend playing higher or lower balls and adding some spin to counter his backhand. Not not seen that. So by higher you'd put top spin on, wouldn't you? Let's try it with a bit of top spin on. See if that does something. Well we might click that off quickly. Two one up and we love forty up. So at the minute Krusty is He's not really had much um much against him here. Three one another break and it looks like Landa Lucia is being set up for that final. 4-1 now and love 40. It's, we're, we're almost home and dry. It's straight into the net. It's dreadful. 6-2, 5-1. Can Krusty go through this? Just dropping three games. Looks like it. Jan Klimas has not put up anything of a fight here. Yeah, just a struggle for him. 6 2 6 1. Krusty absolutely dominated him. Looks like he's a little bit more effective on clay than uh, Clemass. So there we go. Crowd loving it. And Krusty's into another final. Right, all the way through to that final. Fifth, third in the world, playing fifth in the world. This is going to be a good one. Um, he's just beaten a British guy I reckon Victor Friedrich will be cheering us on here um, winner gets 500 points finalist gets 350 points so 150 points to play for essentially which is pretty bloody massive so um, and both of us will come out of this well but one of us is going to come out of this a little bit better £8,000 of prize money and what is quite interesting we're doing so unbelievably well we actually are able to make money kind of uh, each month um, so we've got so currently got 24k in the bank um, we might if we if we keep doing like this we might just about in, have enough to to actually get the um, I can't remember what we were going for it's something which wasn't too expensive it was 20 something K uh, which would give us a little bit of cash right let's go and play this game are we going to do this? Are we going to lose in the comments before we play? Okay, serve power, composure. He's an aggressive baseliner. High return intensity to break him. 
He they reckon going more aggressive, so that says do the on the volley play. So I think return. I think they did say he's an aggressive. Yeah. So I think we have to do pretty much what we did for the last lad. As you see, Landalusia actually has beaten us twice. We got the last win though, and that's the important. So the head-to-head -head in the semi-final. This is the this is the 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 biggest level that either of these two have played each other at. So semi-final was the previous one. This is it. So he's he's he no, he's not relaxed, but he is. He's and he's indecisive. I wonder whether relaxation is important. Right. Went for your opponent has already beaten you, but I feel that today is your day, and that was a, <coughs> a confidence. And I think the problem there is because it was talking about him beating us rather than the other way around. Um, so I'm not sure which the motivation was there. So we might need to do some work on his mental state during the match just to get him to tip top form. 28 degrees, much, much less windy, and there's going to be no rain. This, this could be look at this. 48 wins, 3 losses for Krusty, 44 wins and 4 losses for Land Lucia. It's, it's impressive. It's impressive. See what they can do against each other. This could be a classic. Well, one all. Early doors, it looks like Land Lucia is a little bit more settled than, than Krusty. But it is very, very early days. Well, say that. We're 2-1 up. Krusty has the advantage. It's, it's stayed on his side. He has the break. Unbelievable start. Krusty, 30-40, up. Ooh, that was a confident volley. Well, i got to say, Krusty has started this like a train, my friends. He is love 40 up. He's got a couple of break. Three uh, set points, now just two. 15-40. Land Lucia has it all to do. And he's doing it. But he started a little bit late here. Got himself an ace there. Nice work, Krusty. And that hit the line. He has just about got away with it. Advantage, Krusty. 5-2 with the advantage. Some great serves here from Landalusi. And he's put it into the net. 6-2. Very, very nice. Krusty has impressed me. He's impressed me today. He's levelled up yet again. Well... We've just motivated Krusty at the start of the second set. Didn't improve it. It's so hard to do that. But uh, he started well. And Krusty is 2-1 up. And he has an advantage. You know, the, I said this was going to be an epic game. And, well, we, we have to see more from Landalus here if it is going to be that. Or less of those mistakes from Krusty. Another chance here. That, that was a real chance to uh, take the all-important break. That was well played. Well, it's 2-0. 30-40. Uh, and Land Lucia cannot deal with that volley. Great stuff. And it looks like Krusty had his chances. Looks like Land, Land Lucia is putting the pressure on now. Into the net. Well, 4-3, and Krusty now has his opportunity at 30-40. And this would be a very, very effective time to get something, but he just fails to connect at the back of the court there. And Krusty has a championship point here. He's 30-40 up, 5-4 up. Oh, so... oh, and he's just long with it. <laughs> a lovely little shot there. Oh, it's gone the other way. 15-40. So Krusty had a chance to win this. And Landa Lucia managed to hold on. Oh, and what a lovely little drop shot. 6-5. And Krusty, unbelievably, has won the next three points. And he's got a couple of chances to break this back and take it into a tie break. Lovely little drop shot there. Landalus is pulling all the qualities out here. He has to. He doesn't want this to go to a tie break. He's into the net. Went for too many drop shots. And Krusty has a chance to get back into this in a tie break. Let's see what happens. 
Well, Krusty took an early lead, then it levelled up, and then Krusty has his chance here on his serve. Come on. No, not into the net. Second championship point lost. Oh, he's gone along with that one as well. Two on his serve, and Landley see it. He's putting the pressure on, and he's done it. He's done it. Three points on the trot to take the second set. Krusty. Krusty, I thought you had it. He should have had it. Oh, no. Right. Well, I am concentrating his backhand. Shall we go with topspin? That seemed to work a little bit last time. We haven't been told to do it. Let's throw it in there. Oh, dear. Krusty now 30-40. He's got to deal with this one. It's It's gone wide, though. Juice. I am... I don't know. Krusty had his chance. Come on. Well done. What's that fifth advantage Krusty's had to hold? Come on, Krusty. Oh, it's in, and it's the first break of the of the set. It's Landalus here. I mean, he's worked hard for that. Unfortunately, and I don't know whether this is just my change in style, but Krusty is now just fallen apart a little bit. He's got. He's now got to save himself a match point. Had two himself. He's going to learn from this just wide. 30-40. We've got so much to get back if he is going to get back into it, but I think it's just too much. Just long again, Land Lucia missed a couple of drop uh, volleys there. Oh, it's on the line. Jesus. Well, 5-3. And, uh, well, he's got a couple of Landalusish uh, serves to, to hold on to here. That's a lovely shot from Krusty, but this could be match number four that he's going to lose. Desperately holding on. He's done one. Oh, this is, this is just epic, Krusty. This is... With most other players I've done in this in these game series, I've not been sure. I've, well, I've been sure when they're going to lose. Krusty, I, he just you never know. He just he can come back. He seems to have some sort of hidden attribute which allows him to do things that I've not seen from others. But that is wide, and it's a, another match point from Landalus here. Krusty saved two of his own. For not three. Oh. And he's caught an opportunity to get this back to 4-5. And if he could do that... It would be... It would be spectacular. Just not, not going for anything yet. Just looking for the mistake. Oh, what a shot. He's done it. 4-5. Now he might cock it up from here... But my God, he's given himself a hope. Oh, nuts! He's he almost got it through, but Landalus it. He's he's pulled it back. It's another match point there. It's just uh, what's this match point number six? But Krusty's so close to taking this to another tie break. That's kind of what the way it should be, I think. Oh God. Ah. No! Oh, he's got that! He's got long! Unbelievable stuff! <laughs> oh, he had a couple of advantages and he's failed. I, I don't know what's going on. This is too much. Too much. Come on, Krusty. Let's get into a, get into a tie break at least. Oh, no! 
What an effort. What an effort that was. These two. Oh, man. The epic battles they have. Wow. So, so close that was. He did play well. He's, he's annoyed by me, but he played well. So we got £2,900. What are we on? The 26. Let's have a look just before we move on. So Clay Courts would give it, so it's upgrades 26 grand. You get a little bit more monthly income than we might do otherwise there. What else is have we got here? What we want is to be able to get the paddle courts, I think. That's that's what we want to try and afford. We need 45 grand. And looking at our finances, we're not quite getting up there. <laughs> we're, we're, we're just about, you know, pushing that um, that envelope at the minute. Oh, I, yeah. So we got a nice little chunk of money from the equipment supplier. But if we could get just... If there was a way of just saying, can, can we get like 20 grand I think that would put us right I think we would be absolutely fine then and then we could start being careful and, and and building things up I'm concerned and let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this I'm concerned because I don't really understand how this works anymore that the one thing we can afford which is the clay court generates an income max of 3.9k but that's max over the month and I, I think that's if we're not using it at all over the month so we pay out definitely 3.7k so it feels that's actually going to lose money but let me know what you think about that anyway folks it's a little bit disappointing we didn't quite get there we'll just move on to the next just have a look where that finishes us so Krusty pushes ever closer to Pedro Rodriguez I feel that is going to happen fairly soon um and, you know, if he gets, starts getting in there, then, you know, they, these other players are not that far away. And the likes of Rai Sakamoto, well, he's going to have to do something spectacular to, to keep Krusty from catching him. Because he looks, Krusty looks a danger. And he could, he, he could be a little bit of a dark horse. Probably not this year, but maybe next year for the junior, uh, junior title. And uh, certainly we should be um, getting some success i think on the main tour as well we and bizarrely our, our our main tour event that i put in in the um clay season for whatever reason has been cancelled again i'm not sure why this is happening we were pulled out of it because we didn't meet the qualifications for it but we can't go to a lower tournament and i'm sure i put us into the um, the qualification um section so the qualifiers for it so i don't know what's going on there but we do need to play in one before the end of the year because we do need to break the top 1,500. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed it. Not quite what we were after, but we've got to have a little bit of jeopardy in this, don't we? Uh, if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you very shortly. Let me know what, what your thoughts are on the financial situation. See you then. Bye-bye.